Hello and welcome to my studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this image. This started out as a simple photograph of a plant pot with some uh, flowers and plants in it. But with the addition of some props and careful lighting, what was once a simple plant pot photograph can be transformed into something which is moody and has a narrative. OK, so let's have a look at just how I did it. So to start with, what I have here on the uh, table here, I have the, uh, the plant pot with all the plants in it. Uh, then I have my camera. Uh, and I've set this at such an angle that it's actually looking slightly up at the, uh, at the plants. Um, that will give you a, a more of a, uh, an involved sense uh, in the final picture. Uh, on the front of the camera here, I have a 24 to 70 millimeter lens. At the moment, that's at the 24 millimeter end to give a nice wide view. Uh, on the top of the camera, I have this uh, flash sync trigger, uh, which will also allow me to control the flash. Uh, the camera is tethered uh, into Capture One software. So the first thing to do, uh, as always, just to make sure there's no uh, contamination from the house lights, uh, I'll just take a photograph with no flash. OK, so we can see that these settings, there is very little image viewable there, which is good. Uh, so there's very little contamination from the house lights. So that's at a, a shutter speed of 250th of a second, which is the sync speed, flash sync speed for that camera, and at an aperture of f8, ISO 100. OK, so with that exercise complete, the next thing to do would be to set up a light. So this is the studio flash that I'll be using uh, for this occasion. Uh, this is a Profoto B1X. Uh, this is 500 joules, uh, and I've added a zoom reflector on the front of it. This will help control the spread of the light. OK, so if from this position, what it will do is backlight um, the plants. Uh, so let's give that a try and see what happens. OK, so you can see from this image um, that we probably need uh, about a, a stop more energy I would think, and also we're getting some flare, which you can just see on the side of the picture here. Um, so just to address one thing at a time, uh, the first thing I'll do then is just add uh, a stop of energy uh, to that light. There we go, and we'll give that another go. There we are, that's starting to look a bit better. Uh, this is the area that I'm most interested in, so that's looking uh, quite nice. Uh, obviously, the next thing to do is to uh, just stop this flare. OK, so uh, to stop the flare, what I'm going to do is use this uh, flag, which I've made out of a piece of card uh, attached to this piece of wood just with a clamp, um, so that I can stand it in position somewhere around here, uh, and hopefully uh, it will stop the uh, flare from the flash uh, and won't appear in the image. Let me just have a little look. I think that's OK. I think the very top of it is in, um, but that should be OK. Let's just try that. So that has got rid of the flare completely, which is good. OK, so I think before we go much further, it's probably about time that we uh, try to just dress up the set a bit. So to start with, what I have uh, is just some uh, fern leaves here, uh, which again I've attached to this piece of wood with a clamp. Uh, and I'm just going to place those uh, around the back here somewhere, just so that it will give a, a bit of interest, uh, and also it will break up part of the light. Now, in order to uh, hide the uh, plant pot itself, uh, what I'm going to do is just set up this uh, piece of uh, tree trunk, um, which I've got in a clamp here. And I'm just going to place that uh, in this retort stand, we are somewhere around here. We'll just put that in position like that and take a test image. Okay, that's starting to get there. 
Um, I still need to uh, put something just on this rim at this end. Um, so we'll just do that now. Okay, so I'll just temporarily move the flag out of the way. And what I've got here is just some bits of moss, which I can just use just to cover the edge uh, of the plant pot. Just like that. So we'll pop the flag back in. And give that another go. Yeah, that's all starting to get there. Uh, so we've got some uh, detail down the bottom here now. And I think I'd like uh, a bit of detail just up here. So to fill that little space, what I'm going to do uh, is just clamp these leaves uh, into position down the back here. Just add the clamp. Put the leaves in the back like that. There, something like that. And we'll give that another test. OK, so I can see them there. They're not quite in the right position yet. Uh, so I'll just reposition those uh, and we'll have another, uh, another go. So I'll just make that a little taller, just like that. Try that again. There we are. That's a bit better. So the next thing that I want to address uh, is that all of this detail that we've added at the front here uh, all needs uh, a little more uh, light on it. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this, uh, again, a piece of card as a flag. Uh, the white side I'm going to put towards the light. Uh, and I'm going to try and get this in as close as I can without it actually getting into the picture. There we are. I'll give that a try. Yes, that's lifted it uh, substantially. You can see uh, a lot more of the detail in here now. So that's what we had before. That's what we've got now. Now also what I think I'd like to do is uh, increase my depth of field. Um, so I'm going to alter the aperture from f8 all the way up to um, f16. Which is, of course, uh, two stops. So therefore, I'll need to add uh, two stops of energy to keep the illumination the same. There we go. Let me just try that. There we are. That's better. That's much more like uh, what I want to be seeing, I think. OK, so with that lot uh, done, what I think I'd like to do is just um, possibly zoom in a little bit uh, just to uh, concentrate the uh, the image. So what I'm going to do is uh, just looking through the viewfinder I'm just going to move the zoom in ever so slightly there somewhere around there and we'll give that another go. There we are that's more like it that's the sort of thing. OK, so the next thing that I want to do uh, is just add uh, a little atmosphere, a little smoke. Here we are. So I've just got this smoke machine, which I'm just going to place here. Now the idea of this is that it will just uh, eject the smoke out over here, and uh, we can then uh, take a few shots as the smoke dissipates. Uh, we'll just turn it on and wait for it to warm up. OK, so now that the smoke machine has warmed up, what we can do is just add a little smoke and take a series of pictures. OK, so it looks like we've got some uh, really good shots amongst that. So I will go through these and decide which ones I want and go into Photoshop for the final bit of post-production. OK, so here we are in Photoshop and I've selected three variants uh, to go forward with. Uh, this one, and this one, and this one. 
OK, so the first thing that I would like to do is just make a, uh, a stack of these images. Uh, so what I will do is go to File, come down to Scripts, go down to Load Files into Stack, add Open Files, and click on OK. So that has made uh, Photoshop make me a new file, this one here, uh, which uh, consists of these three images as separate layers. So this is the uh, top one here, so I'll turn that off. This is the second one of our pick, and this is the third one. OK. Now I think the third one is possibly a little over the top. I think there's probably too much smoke in that one. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just uh, blend these two uh, together. Uh, I quite like this bit. It's uh, uh, very nice, but there's generally not as much smoke in this one, um, whereas this one has a bit more smoke, a bit more atmosphere around the back here. Uh, so what I want to do uh, is probably just make use of this bit of this image. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is add a layer mask to this. So just come down here, click on the icon, and that's put this layer mask in place. So painting in black, so I need to change the foreground color to black, and grab a paintbrush. Uh, of a suitable size. I'll just resize that a little bit. There we are. OK, now if I now just paint through, what that will do is bring the image that's directly underneath it through. So we're adding the smoke from this image and yet still having all this detail uh, at this side, which is quite nice. I'll just turn that on and off, just so we can see what's going on. I quite like the smoke round the bottom of the uh, flowers as well, actually. Um, so what I would do is just paint that through. So it's just through there, like that. There we are. Excellent. Very atmospheric. So finally then, the um, last thing that I want to do with this would be just to add a crop. Uh, now, I usually pick a ratio of 16 by 9, um, and I think that looks uh, pretty good. I might just adjust the image a little, like that, and just click on OK. And there we have it. So that is the uh, final image uh, of the uh, plants in a plant pot. So it started off like this. And with the aid of a few props and some lighting and a little bit of smoke, we've ended up with um, this final image, which I think is quite nice. OK, so if you like watching these sort of things, do click on the other images as they appear, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.